Hello, ma'am. Court workers delivered the indictment to a judge Monday night, moments after it was handed up by a Fulton County grand jury. District Attorney Fonnie Willis spent two and a half years investigating former President Donald Trump's efforts to stay in power by overturning his narrow 2020 election defeat in Georgia. Trump was one of 19 people charged in the sprawling indictment. A key piece of evidence, the phone call Trump placed to Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger on January 2nd, 2021, pressuring him to change the state's official election results. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes which is one more that we have. Trump also made false claims of election fraud. His allies allegedly breached the voting system in a rural Georgia county, and his team created a slate of bogus electoral college voters pledged to him. Before Trump, no former president had ever been indicted. But two weeks ago, special counsel Jack Smith brought federal charges against Trump for trying to overturn the election. Trump also was indicted in Florida on federal charges of mishandling classified documents and obstructing justice. And Trump was indicted in April on New York state charges involving hush money payments to an adult film star. Trump has bragged that each indictment has made him politically stronger. At the Iowa State Fair last week, where Trump campaigned for president, some GOP voters brushed off his legal troubles. So the legal stuff, I mean, you can indict a ham sandwich or so they say. Um, I don't really care about that because I do think it's politically motivated. The Trump campaign issued a statement Monday night calling Willis, quote, a rabid partisan who is campaigning and fundraising on a platform of prosecuting President Trump through these bogus indictments. In social media posts, Trump maintained he did nothing wrong. In Washington, Rena Diamante, Spectrum News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. And for more refreshing stories about your community, click the subscribe button right over here. You can also download our Spectrum News app to get live news coverage, weather alerts, and more wherever you are. And don't forget to tune in to Channel 55 on DISH and DirecTV for live local reporting every single day. We'll see you then.